Hey guys, we are back down in our utility room, which we just were in for the pantry tour. However, today we are doing something a little different. So as you may know, we are in Southeast Idaho at 5,000 feet elevation. Um, we are in garden zone 5B. Our last frost date is typically May 15th, although for the really frost tender plants, squash, tomatoes, peppers, that sort of thing, you don't want to put those out until after Memorial Day, which is May 31st. And, um, and then our first frost date is typically around September 15th. Today is January 10th. So the long ways from May 15th. Uh, it's also about 17 degrees out and blowing snow sideways at the moment. So I thought today would be the perfect day to start some seeds. <laughs> I know, kind of, kind of ridiculous. Um, and it, I mean, you might be saying like, you know, you're supposed to start seeds early and there's definitely people that would be starting like their main garden seeds right now um, because of where they live. That is definitely not the case for me. In fact, I know when I should be starting, start starting my seed starting. Goodness, whatever. Um, and it's not until February 14th, which is a month away. <laughs> However, we have this, uh, our kitchen window, um, it has a really nice windowsill and this time of year and really up until about mid May, it gets direct sunlight almost all day long when it's Sunday and not snowing sideways. <laughs> um, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to get a jump start on some of my herbs and put them on that little windowsill and get to have some green growing things in January. So that's what we're gonna do today. We are going to be starting some seeds. And I did mention that I think in my seed haul that we were gonna be doing this. So today we are going to be starting Greek oregano, some flat leaf parsley, um, Italian large leaf basil. Hmm, I actually really wanted to do the Genovese. Hmm. Yeah, I don't wanna go back upstairs and get them. Some rosemary, some scallions, and then we are going to get our lavender seeds in the fridge to do their stratif stratification stuff. So let's start with that because that's going to be the easiest thing. All right, so um, it actually says that you are supposed to put it in the fridge 30 to 40 days before uh, planting. And this is going to be one of the first things I wanna plant. They, not only do you have to do the 30 to 40 days, but then they also take quite some time to germinate. Uh, what does it say? doesn't say. Oh, um, sprouts in 14 to 21 days. So almost a month that it can take for these guys to sprout. Um, I didn't let them last year, however, and I did not do the stratification period and I actually got lavender plants, but we're going to try doing it right. So I'm just going to get this paper towel damp. I don't want it like super damp, not dripping. And then literally all we're gonna do is put a few of these seeds on this paper towel. I'm actually gonna try and spread them out a bit because if they end up sprouting while they're in the fridge, which may happen, I don't know. It does say, um, what does it say? Um, seeds will sprout. So, um, and the last time I did this kind of seed starting with a wet paper towel, which if this is a way it's, um, I can't remember what it's called, but it is a way to start your seeds and know that you're going to have germination before you put them in the ground. You know what? I'm just going to do all of them because there's only a few more in here. Yeah. Okay. I think I got them all. Anyway, um, I tried it last year and it works. However, the, uh, the little shoots, the little roots actually started going into the paper towel and I couldn't get them out. So if they're separated like this, I'll be able to just cut around and just plant the piece of paper towel with them. All right. So good night, little lavender seeds. We will see you in 30 days. And, um, the reason I like this elegance purple is that it actually flowers the first year. A lot of lavender does not flower in its first year. 
and um, and I did grow some of that last year as well. It's um, the one I had is Munstead lavender. Um, so they should flower this year. But this one, these plants did flower this year, and I got some lovely lavender. Not much, but I did get some. So I just like that that they do actually uh, flower in the first year. Okay, all right, these little guys. I'm gonna leave the bag partially unsealed. And today is 110. And I, when I go upstairs, we will just put this into the refrigerator. All right, so the next part, we actually need to plant some plants in dirt, which I happen to have a I don't know, quarter of a bag left over from last year. It's rather chilly down here, so I have a cup of coffee to keep me warm. And this is just, uh, that's upside down. miracle Grow Organic Choice Potting Mix. Moisture Control Potting Mix. Um, and I just got it at Costco last year. It was a really good price for organic soil, um, which is great. Although it uh, is not very well sifted. So that's something that I do need to do before we put it into pots. So David just made me this nice little guy here that we can use. How did I use this? It's been a while since I've done this. Da, da, da. Oh my goodness, sticking on everything. All right, I think I need something underneath that side. Right. There we go. Gloves up here. Oh, I do. Yay. Put little gloves on here. I actually don't really wear gloves for seed starting, but for doing the sifting, it's kind of nice to not get my hands completely grimy. So, a lot of we don't need very much um, of this, so I'm not going to do very much, but. Um, this is actually soil. This is a potting mix. So it is not seed starting mix, which is typically um, a uh, sterile mixture and it doesn't have any soil in it. That's what a, a standard seed starting mix is. Um, it's usually like coconut core or peat moss and maybe some, I, actually I don't even know. I think maybe that's all it is. Um, I. I actually have never tried it, so maybe I would have better luck if I used it, but I've always had good luck doing it this way. So um, I have always used potting mix for it. And the reason I do, I need to find something to put bits and pieces in here. It's been a while since I did this. Uh, um, all right, so back to the soil. So the reason I prefer to do it is because once the seeds germinate, um, that's the only reason that you want to use a soilless something is for germination. At least that's how I understand it. I could be wrong. Please tell me if I'm wrong. Um, and... But once they germinate, they actually need nutrients to grow. And this way, you don't have to start fertilizing um, right away, which just means you have less risk of burning your little seedlings if you do start fertilizing. Again, this is all kind of me making it up. It's what I've, I've done every time I've started seeds, and it's been successful for me. So, however, I don't want a whole bunch of big chunks of, like, wood and stuff because this has compost in it um so not comp compost is not always you know perfect and they clearly miracle grow 
is not sifting it finely enough. So I just get the big chunks out. And like I said, we only need, what, four pots? So we don't need very much. I do plan this year to make my own soil, or potting mix rather. Um, I did that in the past. I've made my own. I'm not sure why I didn't do it this year or last year. But what I what you I do is a equal parts of uh, like a coconut core or peat moss. I'll probably use coconut core. I think it's I believe it's more sustainable than peat moss. Um, but any something light like that, and um, compost and vermiculite or perlite. So I mean, look at, look at this big huge rock that was in there. Um. So that's my plan is to make my own this coming year or this year. I can't believe it's already 2024. Isn't that crazy? And like midway through January. Okay. Well, maybe not midway. It's only the 10th. All right. Maybe two more of these guys. The soil is pretty dry because it's just been sitting down here since spring. So it's going to compact down quite a bit once I add some water to it. This bag actually wasn't nearly as bad as a couple of the other bags that I got of this stuff. get this soil pre-moistened and you want it pretty damp. There's not very much in here though, so I need to remember that. So what I've been told is that you want it to hold together but not be dripping water. So, I think we are there. All right, gloves can come off now. All right, so I'm gonna put them on this little tray, which is rather filthy, but I'm not gonna worry about it right now. And I need to decide what pots I want to put them in. I'd like them to be fairly good size so they have some space to... Oh, no, mm -hmm. these are going to be too big, huh? Maybe if I... Oh, no, there we go. That should work. So they have some room to, to actually grow once they are getting more mature because these will actually, well, not the rosemary probably, but well, yeah, by May, the, yeah, the rosemary should be good sized as well if it germinates. So we just want to give them room to grow. All right, let's get them filled up with soil. So you want your soil to be fairly light still. Um, I can't see it. There we go. Uh, just about threw a piece of rock in my coffee. Um, so you don't want it to be tightly compacted, but you want to make sure that there's not any uh, air pockets in here. So you do want to press it down a bit and then add some more soil. 
but you don't want to like jam pack it down. Actually also, I don't like to fill it all the way up to the top because it makes watering a bit of a challenge. There we go. Although most likely I will water from beneath for these guys for the most part. Oh, this is so great to get my hands in the dirt. Yay. All right, let me see here. What do we want to start with? Oh, wait, do I have five? Well, shoot. <laughs> Dang it. Um, I need to rethink this. Maybe I just won't plant one of these. Which one will I not plant? Are the scallions? All right, we'll, we'll hold off on the scallions. All right, let's start with basil. So this actually probably will be one of the first ones to germinate. Uh, let's see, it's seven to t 14 days. This is two to three weeks. The oregano is, oh, wait, what? Uh, code, germination code four. Oh, this is interesting, I've never seen this before. They have like all of the germination types, codes, and then it's put on the front of the package right here which code it is so this is germination code four which means no special requirements but germination is typically slow and erratic <laughs> all right so slow and uh these guys are 15 to 25 days the rosemary so basil very likely will come up first and i'm gonna plant the basil pretty thickly I can always thin it out if I want to, but I'm just going to sprinkle it on the top of the soil. And then, so the rule of thumb is that you should be putting your seeds at twice the depth of their size. Well, those seeds are teeny tiny, so basically I'm just going to kind of rough up the soil a little bit so they get covered just a tad and that should be good all right i need label so i do not forget all right Ta -da. first seeds planted yay all right let's do parsley next The other one I wanted to do was thyme. Hmm, I might have to do a second tray of these. All right, same with parsley. I'm going to do them fairly uh, thickly. And I probably will pull some of these out. Um, maybe even transplant them into their own dishes as they get larger. For this one, I am going to actually sprinkle some soil on top of it because these seeds are a little bit bigger. seeds are really teeny tiny. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness, look at how small they are. Holy cow. <laughs> I always forget which ones are super teeny tiny. So yeah, I'm definitely not even going to try and spread these out. I'm just 
going to do that whole little bit. Depending upon how these germinate, I definitely will uh, uh, move some of them into their own pots. Let's see. Doesn't say uh, no special requirements. So I'm just going to do the same thing that I did with the basil and just kind of rough up the soil a little bit. And then just pat it, so making sure that they actually have contact with the soil. All right, three down. Oh no, that's, I already did that one. These are the ones I did. This is the one I've not. Little rosemary. So rosemary is typically, tends to be a bit of a finicky germinator as well. I, but I did have excellent luck last year. It was the first year I think I've ever gotten rosemary to germinate and grow for me from seed, which was kind of exciting. It's a bummer that they will not be, or they are, can't be uh, perennial here. In fact, actually I had a hard time keeping rosemary alive in Washington when I lived on the warm side of the state. All right quarter inch. So I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of soil on these guys. Okay. Exciting. Oops. And Greek oregano. I think I mentioned in my last video that my oregano just did terrible last year. Usually it grows like a weed for me and uh, like actually takes things over. So I was really surprised that it did so terribly. All right, I am gonna go actually grab the other seeds that I wanna do and I'm gonna do a second tray because I really wanna have time and I wanna do the scallions. Hmm, maybe I'll... You will grab two more as well, so I can have four. <laughs> All right, I'll be right back. Well, highly annoying. Apparently I don't have any thyme seeds, which is why I didn't have them here. <laughs> so I'm gonna need to get some thyme seeds. Um, anyway, so I decided instead we're gonna do some sage, some chives, and a couple of my little tiny Tim tomatoes. And then, I have had these, you may have noticed in my videos, sitting on my counter since I picked them out of the garden. And I've just had water in the bottom of it. And they're looking a little worse for wear. So I was thinking that I'm just gonna cut off, cut them off like here, put them in dirt, see what happens. They'll grow, they're just scallions. So I'm gonna do that with this half empty pot, but let's get these other seeds in the ground first. So sage seeds are fairly sizable. So I'm actually gonna poke the little holes for these guys. Just little tiny ones. I'm actually hoping that my chives from this year in the garden that I dug up and put into pots, they're just sitting in the shed right now to get a little protection. I'm hoping that they will come back for me. They should, they're a pretty hardy plant. All right, Mr. Tiny Tim, I think I only have a couple of seeds left in here. Oh no, actually I have quite a few seeds. Wow, they're super like lightweight. I don't think I can save seeds for these. I think they are. Oh no, it is an heirloom. Oh, 
Well, I'm going to have to save seeds next year. That was silly. And again, if I do get multiple germinations for these guys, I will uh, transplant them into their own pots. <laughs> Although, you know, the whole this whole exercise is because I'm trying to stop myself from starting my seeds too, too early, like for my main garden. Um, like I said, I'm not even supposed to start starting them until February 14th, and those are just a few of them. So, uh, yeah, I'm not sure <laughs> that this is helping me any, because now I'm like, oh, well, I'll just transplant them. Th that's not the point of this. These are supposed to just stay in their pots and grow where they are. But anyway, at least I'll have growing things. What about you guys? Are you a uh, jump the gun gardener and start your seeds way too early? I did it last year and I so regretted it, which is why I really don't want to do it this year. But that's, yeah, that's why we're hoping that this helps with that. All right. I've never done this before. I have no idea if it will work, but let me go trim off the tops of these. All right, so I'm just going to stick them in here and put some soil on top of them and see what happens. I really have no idea if this is a thing. If you know if this is a thing, I mean, I've seen the people that, well, like this, I mean, they've been growing in here with just water, so I would think that this would work. We shall see. Sure, they are dying for some nutrients. Oops, I'm just making a mess here. But that is what starting seeds is all about. All right, and then the last thing we're going to do is just give these guys a little spritz with water to make sure the seeds get nice and damp. You want to use something that has a fairly gentle spray. Well, this one doesn't matter. Because you don't want to, as you saw, some of these seeds are right on the surface. So you don't want to have them get sprayed all over the place. I normally have a more automatic sprayer thingy, one of those pump ones, but they're all out in the garden shed. And like I said, it is snowing sideways today, and I'm not going out there again. Okay. And then probably what I will do, too, is um, just put some little squares of plastic wrap on top of them um, until they germinate. That way, it'll just make sure that they, they stay nice and damp. But yeah, here we are. We have our first seeds. <laughs> um... So I'm just going to go put these up on our kitchen counter or kitchen windowsill. I'm going to have to find a place for the other one. I'll find a place for it. It's fine. <laughs> well, guys, it definitely started more seeds than I had planned. I'm not at all surprised at myself, <laughs> but it will hopefully curb my desire to start starting my main garden seeds much, much too early. I really want to stick to my, my plan this year, my schedule. You know, like I said last year, I really regretted it. Um, you know, these were the shelves that I used and they're not very tall, you know, in between each one. And the plants just got way too big. And then I was, as I was taking them out, like the tomatoes were snapping in half and yeah, so I just, I don't want to do that again. And, uh, you know, my favorite part of seed starting is actually seeing those first little bits of green come out of the soil. Uh, honestly, I will start looking at these every day now, even though the earliest things that will come up, which is my basil, is probably not going to be for at least another week. Uh, yeah, but I just can't help myself. I look every day. <laughs> but that's my favorite part, and uh, so hopefully this, this helps with that desire to see green. 
Uh, if you guys are starting seeds, what are you starting? You might be, I'm sure some of you are in zones that have much earlier frost, last frost dates than I do. So lucky you. <laughs> um, yeah, so these are going to go up on our windowsill and I will give you guys an update as they germinate and start showing their little green leaves. And uh, yeah, if you haven't subscribed, I would love to have you come back. So please do. All right, guys, I will see you next time. Have a great night. Bye.